In southern New Hampshire, it was hit hard by this April nor'easter. Thousands are still without power tonight. State officials urge everyone to be safe, stay indoors, while crews work around the clock. NBC 10's Aaron Logan is west of Nashua in Ringe, New Hampshire, with more on conditions there tonight. Well, Glenn and Priscilla, the snowflakes are still coming down. The pile of snow behind me is pretty high. The roads are clear, and it appears the lights are back on for some. But still, 140,000 people in New Hampshire are still without power. Many here describe this day as rough, but not nearly as bad as for those who will be dealing with the aftermath for days. It's been a very long day for Joseph Colometta, up at 3 a.m. to start snow blowing. A full day of work and now back home on daddy duty and round two of digging out. A little girl here that needed a nice warm house and a little baby inside. So daddy got the generator going. Fortunately, the new Ipswich family did not have to fire up the generator. We're so blessed to be able to have power. We checked in with all our neighbors and around town and nobody around here lost power. Just a few miles away, some in Ringe lost power for most of the day. I feel like the town's always losing power, so we're used to it whenever a significant storm happens. This time he says they got lucky compared to other areas, specifically in Hillsborough County, the town of Ware's police department posting this photo on social media. They had a whole utility pole on the road. So the damage was pretty significant throughout the area. Many schools in Hillsborough County even canceled on Friday as they deal with the multiple day cleanup. It just kind of came out of nowhere, considering we had a pretty light winter. So it was pretty extensive. I couldn't get this car out. I had to uh, use another car. So the bottom line, the day wasn't the spring day they've been waiting months for. It's definitely that time of year where it's aggressive on everybody that's trying to work. Certainly not an ideal situation for parents whose kids don't have school tomorrow and for the 140,000 people who are still without power. State officials again reminding everyone to be safe while they work to get power restored and the roads in better condition. We're live in Ridge tonight. Aaron Logan, NBC 10 Boston. All right, as those flakes still continue to come down tonight, Aaron, thank you. Meanwhile, coming down, this is Lynn. Powerful winds blew part of the roof off this apartment building on Beach Road. No building has power there. All the residents vacated as crews assess the damage. We are working to find out if they will be able to return home. Tonight, the Salisbury community is watching the ocean closely after a day of rising water and strong winds. Earlier, an influx from the sea closed several streets. Recent storms have damaged the dunes at the beach, but not today. Residents tell us the dunes did their job, absorbing the ocean's energy and preventing homes from getting flooded.